Imagine this. You're just chilling with your homeboy in court. Discussing this new wonderful tablet that you have made out of wood. When all of a sudden, there's a loud crack of thunder. A man appears in front of you, wearing fine arrangements you have never seen before. Speaking a strange tongue and seemingly oozing of knowledge, masculinity and all around power. You fear that the man will kill you. He's obviously an angel sent by God to strike you down for your sins. But alas, that does not happen. Instead, the man starts rambling out different inventions, ideas that have not been thought of, solutions to problems that seem so obvious once he says them. But to you, you could have never figured it out. And through the help of this stranger, you turn this tiny coastal county of Lyon into that oh of goodness. massive development, a shining beacon of knowledge and development in a sea of ignorance. Making Constantinople look like the backwaters of France and even the greatest of the Indian state comparative to rural Ohio. This is what happens when you take a time traveler and put him back in 867 in Seder Kings 3. That's right, this is a time traveler and he's gone all the way back to 867 to educate the people and give them all the technologies, all the development and he will lead them into victory. For what reason? We don't know. Where did it come from? Where did it go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye John? <laughs> My name is Koifish, and this is the Crusader Kings 3 Time Traveler Experience. All right, but who are we playing as? This is Gomez Kronos of Leon, a 16 year old genetically designed super soldier that has the mind of a supercomputer processor, Look the beauty of every Hollywood star combined, <laughs> the virility of a literal rabbit, and the body of Arnold and The Rock Johnson. He is just, as he intends to rule with a sense of self. But also with modern law. He is brave because what would most likely happen if he traveled back in time is that he'd get completely mobbed by a bunch of bandits. He's also eccentric. One does not simply weave through the fabric of time without losing parts of his own sanity. Also, try going back in time yourself and behave like you normally do. No, I'm telling you, we got these like black screens that tell us everything. You'd be in the loony bin before you could say Apple iPod. That's what I'm saying. We also have the exalted warlord education. I have three goals. I want to spread this massive development and this insane tech growth. We could put the world forward in technology by a huge leap. Think of all the lives we could save. I also want to take out this man's biggest time traveling threat. That of Count Hasty. A lot of people don't know this, but Hasty himself is not actually just a Viking raider. He's a goddamn time traveler. No one knows where he came from, but in his reality, he's most likely a suburban dad that loves to play paradox games, living in Sweden. And he calls himself Koifi. It's me! It's, he, it's me, but I've gone back in time, but it's me from the future. Are you following the plot or do you need like a recap? So let's pick martial focus. We need to become really good at fighting and really quick. I'll start by picking up strategy focus, as I want to make my army the strongest it can possibly be. Talking about the army, yeah, it's pretty broken to have all the late medieval technologies. To begin with, I have the knowledge of all of the world in my palm and now in my head. That means that camel riders, war elephants, even the goddamn bombards is at my disposal. On top of that, they have a very cheap maintenance. So, let me buy some gosh darn cannons. Alright guys, you're gonna have to make a cylinder, you know like a cylinder, and we're gonna stuff gunpowder in. You don't know what gunpowder is? Well, too bad. So first of all, I think we need to become a king. But even before that, Komos Kronos of Viator is very unstable. Well, <laughs> chronologically. And although I'm super genetically designed, I'm not gonna be here forever. I could teach my kids like a, like a sliver of my knowledge. And we can push the world forward. Oh my god, I'm making superhumans. But not like the cringe Austrian painter did. Oh my lord, this woman has a very cool nose. She sort of looked like that gith from Baldur's Gate. So uh, we're gonna marry her, use for the nose. That nose in the future, Mwah. only fans worthy, only knows. <laughs> Nobody knows, only he knows. Now, although we have all of this knowledge, we're still just ruling over a bunch of Bretonian peasants. So we need to get things built. I'm also a Roman. You know all of those super cool edits you do of the Roman Empire that get, totally get you women? Well, the super AI that made this video and sent this man back in time to make the video happen, absolutely love those. Keep them up and, um, you'll be fine. So we're going to do something a bit goofy. We need gold, we have troops. Let's raise everyone as raiders. That's right, even in the future, we know a good raid. Uh, CIA raid on the, that one compound went great. Waco or something. 
Wico Flaco, Waka Flaka Flow, Tore Your House is on Fire. Tell you what, let's do a reverse raid. We're gonna hit up Hastin. Didn't expect this, did you? <laughs> oh, I'm being raided by Jylland. No, no, stop that. No, no. My, my concubines. You killed the woman that looks like the Baldur's Gate one. Oh, hell no. Come here. Even with my technology, I'm limited by my peers. And he not only took my gold, but completely schmunked me and went on his way. That's it. That's embarrassing. That's that's terrible. We're supposed to be like super good. Tell you what, I know what to get. We'll hire the good and dark militia. Hold up. Let me just call the beep, 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 supercomputer and tell him to AI generate me a bunch of Flemish people. Put a picture of the good and dark militia here right now and put iPads and technology on them and a supreme hat on one of them. Only of one. Remove the rest. Only on one of them. Thank you. Very cool. Super cheap and super capable. These have a lot more damage than they should have. Hey, Anugustli is pregnant. And we can raise the Raiders again and have another hand at this whole business. I'm thinking we're gonna raid the Irish because it's, it's the only ethical thing to do. We captured a man. This man is decent at fighting and is a good philosopher. I think I'm gonna send him back where he came from. I don't know, he could be contaminated but some space-time continuum thing. Also, he's Irish. We unlock Benham Justum. That lets us get cheaper claims. Very good. A son, Kronos Viator. Hey, if you went to Sunday school, you should know what that means in Latin. <laughs> Tell you what, let's also strengthen the bloodline, which gives us a very nice nickname, the Bloodfather. It's like the Godfather, but uh, safe for copyright. We also hire a wet nurse because the dry ones are <laughs> the dry ones are unavailable. <laughs> Embrace Zeus, my my woman, and then you can live here. Also, I'm gonna bang you. <laughs> and a lunatic Greek Roman. Perfect. I'm gonna bang her as well. <laughs> then we give our kid a wonderful education. God damn, that's a good bit of raiding. Even in a time travel video, Corfish finds a way to raid. We also capture this man. He'll make a great guy. You become Hellenic and I'll recruit you, and I'll make you my marshal. Trust me on this, homie. I'm a time traveler. Now get in my council. <laughs> I don't know why I suddenly had a bit of a stroke. But if you do notice someone that has a lip hanging a bit too low, he might be Danish. Or he's having a strong. He probably has drain damage. Now we have quite a bit of gold. We're going to invest that. And get some goddamn Palatini. Elite Roman soldiers. These guys are very strong. Let's raise the lands again and go back raiding. We raid super quickly. As we literally have bombards. <coughs> and as I'm out raiding, I literally see a small doll. You know who'd want this? The child where you skilled and stole it from. But maybe... <laughs> My little kid, eh? My little baby boy wants a little doll, of course. Look at me, huh? I'm just, I'm just breezing through these areas. More dolls! Give all the dolls that I've stolen from dead children to my son. Oh, I'm sorry, this isn't a hasty interview. Who am I talking to? Another son. He's also Kronos. Because, you know, double Kronos will make this kid proper warfighters. That's what they need to be. We'll also get a doctor. I, I sort of missed out on the whole thing that I need to know modern medicine, so... <laughs> I'll try teaching this guy about penicillin, but no guarantees it's gonna work, guys. Just eat the moldy bread and be happy. My experience gain is absolutely massive from my very cool Exalted Warlord education, as well as my very big brain. We also have a way more Golden Dog Militia, but also goddamn Gendarmes. The Super Soldier Knights. Holy macaroni. The world is not ready for me. Well, we know that from the future, you can raid super quick. And if anyone tries to oppose you, crump them down into the dirt. Let's get some windmills. Huh? Who doesn't love a good windmill, huh? The Dutch can appreciate it, so can I. So, we'll spend this money and get even more good and dark militia. As they are just so gosh darn cheap. They cost like nothing. As the best goddamn retinue in the game. Also, they counter heavy infantry and heavy cavalry. God damn! Whoever came up with this, a brilliant, smart guy. <laughs> and I become a viking! Of course, of course he does. I didn't intend to do so, but uh, here I am. I mean, I have kids like a viking. God damn, there's so many kids. Well, I do that, how about I uh, seduce this man? <laughs> no, no, I'm not gonna do that. But I can seduce this man. No, no, I won't. <laughs> not even from the future, man. Uh, is that progressive? You think we could take on someone like Brittany to conquer the whole duchy? I need a bit more fame. Tell you what, I'll go raid somewhere to gain that fame. We'll take our big old army and we'll head over to the Pope. He's very rich, and his big balls mean nothing because... Bombard. <laughs> oh, look at that. Just a few months. That's nothing. I would have taken haste in years. 
And we stole that doll too! We have the Pope's doll! We have the Pope's doll! This technology! If, if it was to come into the hands of Hasty, we'd all be dead by now. Maybe it's good that it's me ruling it, huh? It's a random Greek uh, Roman time traveler. That's a brand new sentence right there. You're welcome. You can have it. I think we could raid these guys. I mean, let's try it. We'll raid France. And as the goofy little Vikings we are, we'll come from the sea. Hello. He's raising his armies. You think we can beat him? And uh, yeah, something tells me that <laughs> the absolutely based good and dark militia are countering his footmen. And our Palatini counter his, well, the Paladins are conquering the pikemen. And the gosh damn knights, they're just ripping everyone to shreds. Let's see, who did what in this battle? Yeah, I have a feeling it's the good and dark militia that absolutely crumped them. And that we should invest in more knights because they lost two guys and killed a bunch more. I'm not gonna be satisfied until I've stolen every doll in the whole world. Why is this a side quest I'm doing? Why is this literally, why is that a thing? Come on, Paradox, call it with the dolls! Another one! Yeah, no, they really need to scale it back on the doll amount. Maybe there's a doll setting, eh? Hey, he's in gone and stole himself a real doll. <laughs> don't, no, coffee fish, don't say that. You think I could take the Byzantines? They most rely on cataphracts, but they're heavy cavalry, and... Newsflash, the Golden Dog Militia, they counter that. Tell you what, we'll get some more bombards. God damn, Kronos, the Prince of Fashion! My beloved son! God, he's not the kid I wanted, but he's the kid I have, and... Uh, nah, I'm gonna make him an accolade. The champion of time. And we make him a besieger. Very good! Now let's raise the lads, and our newly forged cannons. And the blacksmiths are still as confused. And let's go raid Byzantium. Oh, oh, psh, god damn, I didn't know we invented motorboats too. Holy macaroni, he's speeding off! Let's see. Will we be able to raid Byzantium? And their mighty walls? No. It seems not. Why not? Well, we might be able to fight this man. Outnumbered two to one. But goddamn, the good and dark militia is pulling through. I guess I'll just raid the normal Greeks, huh? Stealing from the Greeks. Stealing the dolls from the Greeks. <laughs> I set out to be a time travel experiment, but so far I'm making a goddamn doll collection. Holy macaroni though, this is, uh, this is some proper raiding. Why do I have technology if I'm not gonna raid with it? Huh? This two-year-old child sends me a carpet? Better get rid of it, I don't know, maybe he puked on it, he's sick. I don't want a baby carpet, I don't want a carpet from a baby. I don't want anything from a baby, get out of here! Well, that's a lot of gold. And we can now start conquering some areas. I think we're gonna just simply go, Aha! and take all of Brittany. So that's what we'll do. Now watch this siege. God damn, that's a cannon! That's a cannon right there! Properly propped up and a kaboom! Come on, shoot! There we go! <laughs> Something tells me that uh, being from the future is a little bit overpowered. I can appreciate that. Well, that was rather easy. Brittany is ours. We can exchange hostages. Uh, no. No, I won't. Get out of here. And we can form the goddamn kingdom of Brittany. Now the thing is, the development in this area has absolutely spiked, as it's gaining a boatload from a neighboring county. That means that the rest of the world rules, <laughs> while the people in North Brittany <laughs> keep being cool. Yeah, I tried, okay, I tried, but it almost worked. We should also take these areas and just build a whole bunch of buildings. But more importantly, we should promote our culture and move it to different areas. It's going to take a bunch of years, but as soon as we spread the culture, we spread the technology. We spread the technology. Mm-hmm. God damn. But until then, we're just gonna plant a bunch of wheat everywhere. I know that gluten is gonna be a really popular thing in the future, and until then, oh, you better start eating. Start eating, my boy. Kronos too grew up, and god damn, that's a chunky boy. He's also a famous champion. I can respect that. I do need another duchy, so where do I get that? Well, I'm gonna steal it from the French. Give me Anjo or give me death. Talking about death, it'll probably come for me if I try this. Maybe I should marry my kids off. So far I can only marry with the Vikings, so uh, perhaps not. Well, the old king of France died, so now they're easy pickings. I'll take the entire duchy of Anjo. Anjo, Anjo. I'm playing the banjo. Hello, time travel police. It's me, I'm here, and uh, you're not allowed to time travel. Seriously, stop raiding me, stop. No, come back. No, I was saved by the French. No, the French. The French, they saved me. God damn, it's ridiculous how quick you can siege. Oh no, that, that's, that's so fast. Even on three speed, the sieges take like a day. 
I pull up, I shoot the cannon, the peasants just go, no, no, I don't want any of that smoke. And I said, the smoke comes with the cannon. We can siege, we can, we can outrun these troops as we're sieging. Holy macaroni. Look at how quick we go. Look at how quick. Look, look, look. <laughs> I will bleed them dry. <laughs> and he forces, he forces me to give up the war so he doesn't lose all of his land. <laughs> I'm rich and my court's full. Ransom everyone. I don't need them. All I need is to usurp this little holding and then take this little gold and make Brittany. I'm now a gosh darn king. Or a, a Rex. Rex Kronos Viator. Sick temper tyrannis. Coito ergo sum. Coito ergo sum. God damn. Tell you what, I need new wife. I need new wife right now, huh? Give wife. Give wife good knowledge, please. Thank you. That also means that I can finally get myself a royal architect, which we need. My wife is great at this, so she'll, she'll do perfectly fine. Well, what's stopping me from just taking more? I want to take all of Neustria. I want the coastline. Hand it over right now. Turbo War. God damn, this is like playing Crusader Kings on crack. What an experience. <laughs> Lord Almighty. Oh, hello, French army. <laughs> Oh, you have a we have a hundred percent. Well, let's see how many areas we can siege before it happens, huh? Give up! Give up, I say! We have gunpowder! The China special! Boom! Boom! <laughs> hey, that's really cool! Then we'll pay this woman because we have a lot of gold. And then the man she converts to Hellenism because why not, you little dynastic cane slayer? By Zeus, she said yes! What? You think you can do something? You little viking crumb. That's it. Come here, vikings. Oh, here they come. God damn, that's a big army. Correction, it was a big army. <laughs> now watch this. In 10 months, this area will go from absolutely garbage area to absolute mega technology zone. Hoyfish, the words you're coming out of your mouth make no sense. Listen, English is more like a suggestion for me rather than, you know, a, a command. We go from two building slots and absolutely no technology to a few more building slots. Bada bing, bada boom! I'm gonna hit you with a bro- No, that's, I'm not gonna do that, but all I'm saying is we have spread development like insanely. It's like a little plague. You see the rest of the world? Yeah, they're trying to catch up. Goddamn six development. Gosh darn, 20, 28? Constantinople is supposed to be like the pearl of the world. No, it's Kurnal and the Pentivre. As it slowly spreads out like crazy. It's like a gosh darn disease. And it's called knowledge. And it infects the minds of those that study. That sounds like someone on YouTube would say that. And I guess, technically, there's someone you did. Ah, a few years have passed and Rex Kronos the Bloodfather, or as he likes to be called, the, <laughs> the Sanguine Daddy, has spread his culture and all of his immense knowledge. As you can see, the development is slowly creeping in on all over Brittany. A hundred here, fifty here, and slowly starting to starting to trickle away. We've also taken a bunch of our gold that we're earning and pumped it into the holdings. The county of Vance, the duchy capital, we're building jousting fields. As I intend to take these massive armies of gendarmes, the super knights, and well, see it for yourself. Plus 81 damage, giving us a whopping 236. On top of that, I'm also boosting the Gundag Militia, adding another 11 damage, upping it from a base of 13 to a whopping 28. Holy macaroni. That's huge. So you know what I think it's time for? Mm -hmm. War. We're gonna conquer all of Ireland, or at least as much as possible, enough to form the Gosharn Kingdom. Why do I always bully Ireland like this? I don't know, maybe it's some pent up anger towards Irishmen. Just kidding, it's easy to take. And the thing is, we move so fast that we just go in, bada boom, bada bing, bada bing bang bush. And we took the ornate ribbon from the man. Thank you. Before he knows it, we're moving onwards. First area taken. Nice. Promptly hand it over to my son. It makes him a goofy little tribal guy, but I don't mind. I'm just doing this for the clout. Trust me, I'm the timekeeper and this is a cannon event. Talking about a cannon event. I have a gosh darn cannon! We need to fight some bigger foes. This is absolutely nothing. I'm speedrunning this. Thank you very much. Now we take all of the aisles. Whee! Boom! 
That's the quickest goddamn war I've ever seen. And all of it will go to my son. And we take Ireland. And we simply make the gosh darn kingdom. And we give it to him. Best of luck, little kiddo. You're now free. King Thedosius Filius Covcronus. Best of luck. Now what other kingdom can I give away? I have sons and they're in need of kingdoms, so... Tell you what, I'm gonna topple the Byzantines. But first, we're gonna take the gendarmes and just boost them up as much as we can. We'll steal Sardinia. We'll steal the Papacy. We'll steal Venice. We'll steal Crete. Oh, no, we can't. Hey, right? we're gonna have limits. We can't just steal Crete. We'll steal Barcelona. And you know it. I'm stealing a bit of England as well. Essex to be exact. All right. Electric Boogaloo times two. Hastin! Hastin! No, Hastin! You can't... Oh, you, you, you're getting angry because I'm raiding without you? Well, Hastin, this is what happens. You get to face the full force of the gosh darn knights. Hastin, you little dwarf. I am Kronos. You've been replaced. God damn it. We are so quick at the siege thing. You little scampering loon. <laughs> well... <laughs> That's it for you, you little lout. Hand over the gold and no one gets hurt. And this gold goes straight into buffing up our troops. God damn! <laughs> this is something special. This is it's probably the, the absolutely craziest thing I've ever experienced in Crusader Kings. Well, pff, that's, that's Wessex taken. And we'll give that to my grandson, Romanus. What a cool grandpa. He just hands out little cool items for people. Little cool holdings, huh? Now let's get up our supplies. Nice and proper. We'll need them. It's a long trip. It's a long way to Hindustan. Oh, damn. I just said where I'm going next. You know what I could do? I could reform the faith. Huh? Rome, Alexandria, Carthage, Mount Olympus. We can do this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the Hellenist will be back and stronger than ever. Hello, it's us. We're here to siege. Just hand over your valuables. Thank you. <laughs> And we pop off here, and we give this to my other grandson. Why do I have so many grandchildren? <laughs> it's a piece of cake, and the cake's made out of strawberries. There you go, son. Have your own little kingdom. Best of luck. I love you. You're my guy. You're my little kid. Sorry, Pope, but I'll see it you're holding in like a few days. It's nothing. I took his hat! The hat of the Pope! The hat of the Pope! I have his hat. Let's go! <laughs> Lotium is ours. Pope no hat. Hatless Pope. Pope without the hat on him. <laughs> well, they are gonna have a crusade against us, but I don't feel like I have to worry about that considering my insane troops. Thank you so much. Venice is ours. And just like that, we conquered a bunch of land in like no time at all. And another kingdom, of course. Kronos Viator, you get the Regnum of Venice. I'm gunning for the dynasty of many crowns, and so far we have four. Very cool. Tell you what, let's get the holy sites. We got Rome, so we will need Alexandria. <laughs> Completely fearlessly just conquering everything. That's what I call time travel. And let's take Athens too. We'll go for the capital. I want to say that I busted up Byzantium. I now hold Tunis. Which means I can make a beautiful grand cathedral. But instead, I'm just gonna hand it off to my grandson, Galerius. Rule it justly. Just rule it. You think we can actually siege down the Byzantium holding? Three months! When I've done this on other characters, we have to pull up with like a year. That's insane! Well, that's Byzantium sieged. Let's just pop on down to Athens. Athens, Georgia? No, the real Athens. Is Athens in Georgia? Like the American Athens? And we're gonna land on them, and we're gonna mess them up. Watch this. Equal in footing, but not in technology. The future is now, old man. No! I can't, I can't, no! He's my grandson, get a grip. Not of your grandson, oh my god. Let's see how many... The gendarmes killed 2,000 and lost eight. Those men probably fell off their horse trying to do wheelies. Huh, I'm amazed. Beautiful, beautiful. Hey, you think you can out siege me, huh? You can't. Athens is mine! <laughs> this is your brain on, on, on schmack. You schmacked your brain once too many times, and your brain is now schmacked. Yeah, I can totally reform my religion. That's so dope. <laughs> so easy! Damn, that's crazy. Let's see how much gold we got from those ransoms. That's, uh, that's quite a lot. Oh, it keeps going, huh? <laughs> God damn! You know what? This money will go into building... That's right, better jousting grounds and better blacksmiths. Other colors of smiths are available. All right, I think it's goddamn time that we reform this religion. Hellenism, keep to astrology, 
Getting some Christian syncretism used for the groove of it, and because I can wear my hat more fancy, and warmonger, so that I can do great holy wars. Very cool. Will also make me the head of faith, and have our faith in pluralist, so that we can easier manage the holdings. Alright, let's reform the faith. I am High Priest Kronos. Zeus favors us. Very good, and very great. We'll also throw in a holy order. Why not? That's right, that's the straight up Myrmidots. Myrmi, me, 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 me. It's the warriors of Greece. They have pikes, which are bamboo shooting anti elephant cavalry, and chasseurs, which are light cavalry from France. And Mr. Worldwide, I can call a gosh darn invade kingdom. So, where should I conquer next? My one big hit. You see, I am coming in on an older age, and I think it's uh, high time that we do something with all of these armies. You see, I have made the county of Van into a holding that has incredible boost when it comes to cavalry. Meaning that the gendarmes, these 550 brave riders of Rowan, have a whopping 262 additional damage. That puts them, that takes them from a base average of 125 to 417! That's insane! They deal more damage than a, than a Ghost Lord Champion! And my champions deal a lot of damage too! So you know exactly what we're going to do. Using my Mega Mind, I will gaslight them into giving me a claim on the whole Byzantine Empire. But if that wasn't enough, I'm gonna fight Bulgaria as well! But if that wasn't enough... No, that's enough. <laughs> that, that is enough. I don't wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna overextend here, you know. I, uh, I'm just a little guy, okay? I'm just a guy. We raised them over here. All of them. My two glorious armies. God damn, that's a lot of troops. We let him amass his forces. This is the distraction force. My good and drag militia. This is my main heavy hitters. We'll split off the bombards. Tell you what, I wanna see just how much the heavy cavalry can do on its own. Heavy cavalry and a bunch of knights. In planes as well, my great army of great heavy cavalry. And amazing champions will crash into them. It's cataphract against night. Let's go! We completely wiped them! Not a single one left alive! Who saw? What? They crusade against me! We better be quick then. My horses will go on the sea. Sea horses. We have exactly 17 months. And we are outnumbered something fiercely. Siege it! Siege it! Siege it! We gotta move! Push for Bulgaria! Come on faster! Boom! That's enough! The Bretons claim Byzantium! The new Imperator! Long live the Imperator! Rome! Rome! God damn, that's a big empire! But I'm beloved by all as I'm a living legend, and my faith is syncretic with theirs. I can even do this! The morning their conversions. Everyone will be Hellenic! Once more, I return to faith! I almost tried to convert this guy, but I don't feel like the... The Patriarch is gonna allow that. I feel like he's sort of the one that's very opposed to that. <laughs> Blessed be Zeus! <laughs> so nice to see you. Eh? The proper religion, turn to it. And there's the Bulgarians. We'll go after them with horses. 500 against 6,000. Look at you, Duke Kaklak the Honest. Did you honestly think you could win? No! God damn! Stack wipe! We killed so many that the game doesn't even know we killed them. I made Crusader King's gaslight itself. <laughs> Aris, protect us. The Pope has come back for his hat. But first, we must do it. No, I don't want to. I don't want to reclaim Constantinople. No. Fine. The true seat of the empire, Byzantium. Byzantium. We have the crown of Justinian, an image of Edessa, a bunch of goblets, a finger, beautiful banners that are not our own, but we can hang them. Nice! But now, we must defend against this crusade. This is a true measure of our strength. Sure, we do have some people that are willing to help us, including Malik Mujahadid ibn al Rahman. What are you doing here, you goofy guy? I guess everyone that is not like Hellenic or pagan is willing to step up to the plate, huh? Hey, what happened to my sons? Ireland is still very much, still very much Hellenic. Nice. But we have to fight them. And we'll fight them right here in Rome. Right here where it all started. In Brest. God damn, I love Brest. No, no, not, not, not like that. God damn it. They want to claim Aquitaine. So that's where we'll hold. Raise the troops. And off we go. Now that 
is a proper force. Warriors of the time traveling high priest Kronos. Blessed be Zeus. Blessed be the gods. Yeah, that's it. You run. You run. Run while you still can. Let's gather up the troops and let's split off. That's right. The horses. We're going strictly horses and knights for this one. It worked before. It gonna work again. Ride faster, you louts. All I need are these riders. Their damage is so immense. Come here. I will kill all of you. Glorious, brave knights. Your crusade is doomed to fail. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I literally take my entire army and disband it. All I need are my knights. Go, riders. More. More. That battle of Carlo. Look. We're completely ruining them. Let them group up. Flee when you see me. 5,000 men. Don't think I will mind. Let's go. <laughs> the crusade is already over. Your attack was a sham. The infidels taste the wrath of Ares. But alas, I think I've proved enough that, yeah, if you introduce time travel to crusader kings, things go a little bit crazy. We're talking a reformed Hellenic religion that has taken over all of Brittany, completely messed up Europe, <laughs> and reclaimed their birthright of the Byzantine Empire. Not to mention an ungodly mix of the good and dog militia of the Flemish lowlands and the Gendar knights with an insane 413 damage, giving them almost 300 extra damage in every strike. Now that is something out of this world. But alas, we need to finish this properly. First of all, this is a bit of a time travel. It's a blast from the past. He's a saint! <laughs> of course he is. But also, he has to return to his timeline. Goodbye, my friends. It's been a great run. Free at last. Long live the new Imperator! And that's going to have to be it. I'll just show you one thing I found was very interesting. Leon started with 100 development. And just from the trickle down, 73 in the neighboring counties and down to 37, 38, 18. It's a bit skewed. We control the most developed area in the whole world. And that, my friends, is what happens when you time travel in Crusader Kings. Hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, try sticking to your own timeline. Yeet. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, gosh darn it, I forgot about Hasteen. Oh. <laughs>